don't know about you, but the visibility with this cage is not fantastic. What's going on? Welcome back. It's only a little video today. I thought I'd try my hand at something like this. It's, it's hot in here, so I'm open this window. Uh, obviously, I'd like to think that you all know me for installing complicated and performance enhancing modifications between me and Tom. Uh, we seem to be pretty good at it. I'm not going to brag. But today we've got just a little bit of a creature comfort one. Uh, just thought I'd do it because I've seen other people do it. And uh, I'm not one to hop on trends, but let's have a go, try around at it. I'm not going to promise it works. So I've wanted one of these for a while. The title might be a bit clickbaity, but you'll know what I mean when you see it. I've wanted one of these for a while. Uh, long time viewers, if you remember when we went and visited Adam Ival back must be well over a year ago, nearly two years, when I had the E36 as a daily. Uh, went down to visit Adam, I bought a steering wheel, bought some wheels off him for the E36, and I bought a harness, nearly 61 harnesses. Sadly now discontinued. Still FI approved though, so they're in date for a few more years, so if I decide to go racing. But Tom bought one of these off of Adam, so it's actually a Broadway mirror, which I've bought. Like, I've taken it out of the packaging already because the video did fuck up, so I had to come and refilm it. But I'm just going to show you how to put it on. It's not even hard. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. The packaging is pretty sick. Like, it's really nice, really neat. I went for a 300 mil one, as you can see on here. So this is the actual mirror. Like, it's a gorgeous piece to look at. I have already got fingerprints on it just from taking it out of the packet, but I can't really help that. I'm going to try and get some glass cleaner in a bit and see how I can clean it. I'm not even sure you can. I hope so. It's chrome plated, so you should be able to clean it. Gotta look like a state. Jesus Christ. So I got this from Tegua. It's about 27 quid. So I don't know why I haven't bought one before. Uh, we put one in Tom's Lupo when he went down. Uh, we put that on in a motorway, doing 70 mile an hour. Me trying to steer while he uses the pedals and him putting it on. But that's just what Tom does. He's that fucking impulsive. So I'm going to swap you around so you can see what I'm doing. The benefits of having a sunroof, which I might get rid of soon, but that's how it is. So basically with the Broadway, you get these tabs that just clamp. So obviously with the... With these, it's going to be a bit hard because the the standard one's horrible. Like if you can see it, it's got this blue tinge to it because it's auto dimming. Because this was a bad boy car back in the day. This was thirty G's nearly. It's about twenty seven grand, I think these are new. So it's got a fancy mirror, but it's got blue. It's a bit dirty. But basically, just get the top two. Try not to touch it with your grimy little fingers, and just pull it down over it. And then that's it. Just make sure it sits right. So I know Tom's got one in his Mark II, which you would have seen last video. But I don't know if his is the same size. It might be. I thought his was a. He said it his was the biggest. But the four hundred mil must be about. Because this is a this is three hundred. This is a foot. So the normal one's got to be about maybe that much bigger. Hundred. What's a hundred mil between friends? But that's it, that's literally how easy it is. And it's so much better. So obviously with my cage, when you're sort of sat in the driver's seat, if I turn immediately left, that's the view you get. It's not too bad, but at a quick glance. Obviously, a blind spot, object, obstructed by cage. It's so, even just, it's just clearer. That's all I can say. It's so much clearer. I don't know, it kind of makes you want to get rid of the shopping list in the back window. I'm kind of done with that now. Like, I like the the people that are on there, like Adam, uh, Matt at Rushworth, uh, Jay at Track Addict. I like, love the stickers. Obviously, I've got a Track Addict sticker in here still, so I just need to repurpose them. Obviously, Adam, we've got some 61 stickers on here. Not stickers, but they're branded. Maybe I'm just getting older and growing up and wanting to get rid of some of the stickers. It's fucking boiling in here. I don't know. But there is plans for like uh, some long-winded stuff like fiberglass and 
like fiberglass boot and stuff, which is way down the line, way towards the end of the year. But hopefully it comes to fruition. It'll make the car a lot lighter. So that is going to be loads nicer on track. So I have mentioned it in the last few videos. Just trying to prepare you all because if you want to come, please come. It'd be nice to see you. We have got our next track day. We have got our next track day. It's the 31st of July. It's Cadwell Park. The car does need a few bits for the track day. It needs a new rear caliper because it's seized again. Uh, but we're going to get a brand new one this time. The last one we did was just a temporary fix, obviously. Uh, obviously, bleed of the brakes. Uh, we're going to do a service. And we're going to do like a nut and bolt check, make sure everything's tight. So yeah, and there is a big mod coming. There is a big mod coming next few weeks. So keep an eye out. Won't be the next video. Next video is another little one. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the Broadway Mirror. Uh, as I said, I got in, I'll got. i leave a link below. Go from Tegawa. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.